doing more with less so i would like to give an example for the uh, you know, space program to place a satellite or to send a human being to the space one of the best engines available as on date is the cryogenic rocket engine five countries had this technology and when we were starting the program we were looking for somebody to support and there is a fantastic word called the mtcr and actually for the missile program this cryogenic cannot be used but people use this term and denied the technology to india if this rocket engine is not developed cryogenic rocket engine is not developed indian space program will be always in the second grade only we had a great insult and then one day we were thrown out of the country we went for studying something and we were thrown out and after coming back we started today i want to tell a technology which was denied to india three propulsion systems indians have developed for indian space program and we are one among six countries in the world having that technology and not only that first system uh, we were a little bit using others data second system for the mar 3 mar 3 vehicle you may be seeing which is uh, placing the chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 and it is going to take human being to the space and why human is being to the space another three months we are going to place a 6500 kg american satellite on commercial basis from india for that we are developing this cryogenic technology we set the following targets we want to be low cost development game we want to ensure low cost we are developing and we want to set world records i will tell you today we have made three world records in that development first world record is generally people make 10 cryogenic engines then only they go for the flight and minimum thing is four engines one of the country has done four engines we set a target only three engines will realize and the third engine will engine will fly you know why the target was set when you sit in this type of place you we should not forget from the place where we are coming our villages what is happening economically how we have come so we think economically in order to reduce the cost we set only a target of 3 we are the only country first country which has succeeded cryogenic technology with only 3 engines second world record from the development test to flight people generally take 6 years other countries and the minimum time taken by any other country was 34 months we have succeeded in 28 months and we are having number 2 world record in that development and all other countries even though they were in front of us they have taken more time another important world record i want to tell before flying we use in that engine 5000 kg of liquid hydrogen and 23000 kg of liquid oxygen the hydrogen if you use properly and smart way it will work as a fuel if you don't handle properly it will become a hydrogen bomb then the loss is so much we build a test stand spending 1100 crore and it is not that great but 10 years we took to build so we are going to do experiment in that Generally, what people do is they don't play with hydrogen too much. They do lot of experiment, spend crores of rupees. Then only they order is the hard fuel. We debated, discussed, and uh, thanks to Dr. Kiran Kumar, our former chairman. I think you all may be know him, one of the great person. I put up a proposal. We will not do any experiment because we have to spend lot of money, lot of time it will take. He believed the team and authorized. And today we have succeeded. other countries average time they take 10 months to do this experiment india completed in 34 days and we are having number one position and this world record this world record in my opinion cannot be broken next 34 day, years by any other country we are nobody is going to take such a risk <laughs> and we were so bold to take risk and we are successful last 50 years we have built 133 satellites and uh, conceived and built placed in the orbit right now 56 satellites are in the orbit and you know during sindhur operation our satellites worked perfectly well i want to tell perfectly well probably we don't talk too much outside but it perfectly well and the need for the country is at least in another 3 years we have to make this numbers to honorable prime minister always used to tell every year he wants 50 launches only that means another 3 years 155 satellites has to be built and it has to go and this is the place we the 2020 the space sector reform was announced space sector reform is nothing but allowing private sector to work on the space area and uh, isro is going to hand hold them and today i will tell you 450 companies private and uh, public sector organizations are working for space for example whenever a pslv is taking off 
you know 80% of the budget is pumped in the industries and it is not with isro and yesterday for study we had a major event i don't know you would have read in the newspaper the recently developed small satellite launch vehicle the entire technology was transferred to hcr for them to produce and this all now what is required is a lot of people are to work in the space area for making satellites making launch vehicles more importantly today we are having so much satellite data decipher the data and utilize for the common people for example i will tell you one application farmers if they have to go to bank and take some either insurance or some disaster time uh, to get any benefit leasing of the insurance anything has to happen you know uh, some time back people have to go then the bank officer to come to the field you know immediately they will not come there are all officers and it will take its own time then they have to come and see us us but today that is not the case mm. from the satellite data you can process in front of the officers you can demonstrate within few second and get out so so much wealth of data is there somebody can concentrate and decipher and utilize for multiple purposes and you are all very safe here whether your properties are safe whatever is there the neighbor whether he has moved 1 feet 2 feet how do you know <laughs> and this is the area again you can use. you can find out okay what is the border whether area has more or less everything so like that satellite utilization data utilization is on the area and you know 10 years back hardly 3 4 com- startup companies were there mm. today 300 plus startup companies are working in all the areas launch vehicle building satellite building data decipherring and uh, rolling out and infrastructure build up so thereby uh, when we talk about a vixit bharat 2047 and if the india has to become a developed country uh, i want to summarize my the entire space activities the activity which started with billa cart and bicycle by 2040 isro will be and india will be in par with any other space faring nation which was 70 years advanced to us in par with them by 2040 in par in terms of launcher, in terms of satellite, in terms of application. 